Kia ora bros and girls, welcome back to the channel and buckle on in because we're in for a hell of a video today. Uh, we're taking on Variant 4 Electro. Now Variant 4 Electro is like the god of the Variant bosses. He is the most difficult boss in Variants, I think probably bar none to be honest. Um, and I've finished all four Variants, so let me tell you, this is probably the toughest boss. Now he's got uh, he's Sun Immune and he's got increased power gain and an un unblockable SP1, but the really annoying note is actually Crackling Energy, which means that um, every time you, you uh, contact him physically, he will ha give you a degen that does energy passive over time, uh, which is about half a percent of your life. The only way to remove it is to hit him with a non-contact attack, right? Um, also, he a lot of his attacks are um, are energy um and you know the no the no damages energy so we've taken havoc in because he's energy resistant but also havoc's medium attacks his heavy attacks and his light, his fourth light um so the combo ending light uh, they're all non-contact so they can remove that energy um that energy charge so what we're going to do here um actually before <laughs> before i do that uh, make sure to stay tuned and subscribe and like because I'm going to come out with a variant 4 guide kind of giving you a, a few hints and tips on how to do most of the path, uh, path quite easily without having to spend any units. Um, so yeah, don't forget to do that. And uh, so let's let's break down this fight. Let's break down what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do here is basically go for medium light medium combos or medium medium combos now medium light medium or medium light light medium if I can get two hits in without pushing him to his sp2 it's ideal because I'm actually okay taking a, a tiny bit of uh, energy damage over time because with havoc you convert that energy damage into plasma and that plasma then does damage to electro so basically it's your energy damage versus his energy damage and your energy damage is more now Bear in mind, this guy is stun immune, so you can't parry him. Um, so you kind of have to either evade specials or kind of push it and head into his block. The good thing is he's got increased power gain, which makes it very easy to, to push out that SP1 and get him back to his SP1. So you don't actually have to play a parry game or get too many uh, openings, just as so long as you time evading the SP1 right and getting back in there. Now finally, what I want to do is I want to actually build my charges up. So I've got 10 charges. He's got 10 charges on him and hopefully no power, like just then. And then I'm going to unleash an SP3, which is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. Now, this is an R5 Havoc. He is not Awakened, okay? So Awakened, he would do even more damage uh, or, or get to his same damage quicker. Uh, but that's not really a problem because um, damage is not going to be your problem here. Your problem is going to be getting clipped, so don't get clipped don't get clipped and being patient um, you can if you're very good with electro you can evade the sp2 but i find it's easier to get into a rhythm whether you're either if you're either just evading the sp1 or just evading the sp2 um, so we we push on again and then we're, we're setting up to unleash another sp3 yeah so um do like like i said uh if, if you've liked the video so far, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because I'm going to bring out a Variant 4 guide. And in that guide, I'm actually going to talk about different counters. I know not everybody has an R5 Havoc. I'm going to talk about different counters, Electro. And I'm also going to upload a video on uh, how to cheese Deadpool in, in the next chapter. Um, there's a list of about, you know, 7, 8, 10 counters that I know to deal with Electro without having to spend units um or without having to get frustrated there's very good methods to to get past them so if you guys are interested in finding out a little bit more then stay tuned and watch the next video uh but right here we're just about set up now i'm not unleashing the sp3 here because i only have two or three charges on him which minimizes the damage and i know he's so close to dead but you know what i want to make absolutely 100 percent sure that this sp3 uh, is going to take care of him and so I throw it then, it's, it's got about six plasma charges, but I think that's plenty. Um, it's a little bit overkill, but I wanna make sure that I get the one shot kill. And there it is, Havoc takes him down. You don't have to spend 400 units. You don't have to get frustrated. You don't have to take a lot of damage back. This is the way. So uh, stay tuned guys, and I'll leave it at that. Kakiti ano, bros and girls. See you in the next one. 